Hey guys, Lewis here bringing you another video on a channel that has one goal for this year and that is to do more. So if you've been following along recently, you know we've been doing our little eBay challenge trying to get a bit of money and uh, it's going well. I mean, I do have updates to tell you and <laughs> believe me, <laughs> I've, I've got some updates lad. Trust me, we will get back onto that in the next video but for today we want to divert a little bit and address this issue where I want to record at night but as you can see in this current lighting, it's a... Uh, it's a initial good. Thought about how I can improve this. The obvious step to me seems to be getting better lighting, so that's what I've gone and done. I watched this video by a guy called DSLR Video Shooter. He's got a really cool channel, so if you're into like how you can improve your, your videography game, definitely check him out. So he did a video where he did a $100 lighting kit, and I went out, because I'm a good guy, I used his affiliate marketing link. It turned out to be like, closer to a hundred pounds than a hundred dollars but anyway I got it so he's obviously this amazing like videographer he's got some pretty wheeler dealer skills with his old editing whereas I'm, I'm just I'm just your run-of-the-mill average Joe I, I don't have a DSLR I've got a camera on my phone while I'm using the phone camera cuz uh, yeah cuz my camera got stolen there's nothing funny about that statement. In a bid to uh, improve my YouTube game, I've gone out, I've got this lighting kit. We're gonna test it on an iPhone, so we'll just see. I've got nothing nothing fancy, no additional effects, just my camera. When you're over there, I keep looking over there, you're over there. We're just gonna document, see what the results are, have a little play around, and yeah, I'll do a quick review on it. I'm gonna tell you what I think, and then you guys can look at the footage and see what you think. So, sound good? Very good. Okay, oh, <laughs> so just to let you know what this £100 kit consists of, we have the ESDDI softbox and we've got a TFJ stands and then we also have a LED light which we're going to use as a backlight and we also have a LED studio bulb which we're going to put into the softbox. So, I am going to get it all set up and then we'll uh, we'll take it from there. Right, so, so we've got some equipment here. I'm sorry, I'm the uh, idiot who decided to put black stuff on a black bed, but there we go. So this is pretty much what comes with everything that you buy. So you've got a got a case over there on the right for the uh, the backlight, which is the lovely rectangle you see there. It only comes with an orange um, sort of. It's not a gel but it's, it, it acts as a gel, so that's for different lighting, we'll go into that. Over on the left we've got the rechargeable battery that comes for the, uh, I'm going to use it as a backlight. So, not tested it yet, we'll see if it has any charge already. Got a case over in the top, that is for the softbox, and then we've got tripod here, and I, what appears to be the case for the tripod. So many boxes, I've kind of forgotten what's what. And then we've got this big boy. <laughs> So yeah, it's not a perfect square, it's a rectangle, so I've got it in like portrait mode. We'll see if we need to swap it to landscape. I've put the um, the new stand on it, because this one goes up to like 7 foot I believe, whereas the older one only went to about 5 foot, it was quite short. But I'm going to be sat down, so this should be plenty, plenty enough. So now we've got everything set up, we'll see what it looks like. Just one quick note on the installation before we give it a go. With the uh, softbox, just bear in mind if you are going to get this exact set, there's like a plastic circle in the middle of the softbox, so you got to kind of push it down and it clicks into it, and that's when you can then screw the light in. So, yeah, I didn't know that. I was scared I was going to break it, but that's how you do it. So, got the, the backlight behind me hidden on a little tripod. We're going to whack it on at about 30%. Gonna put the soft light on, and yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. So, let's give it a go. I might have to play around with the angle, the height. I think 45 degrees is about where you want to be. The thing about the iPhone, I can't see what I'm looking at right now. I think I'm gonna have to adjust the exposure, like post edit on my uh, editing software, because as far as I'm aware, you can't change the ISO on your phone. You can do the thing where you drag the exposure down. Uh, there's no way I can do it from here. So, I'm gonna do a side by side comparison right now and you know let's let's uh, see what it looks like so I think this is the kind of setup I want to go for I'll play around with it in future videos but for now I feel kind of happy with where it's at right now so it's kind of coming in got, got some nice soft shadows on this side so 
I don't know about you, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I can now officially make some videos in when it's nighttime, which is perfect. One quick final note with the backlight, the battery, as soon as you plug it in, it's like, it, it just goes, it just starts. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, that's it really. Let me know what you guys think. In fact, give me, give me some tips. If, if you guys out there, you know a bit more about lighting and stuff, give me some tips on how I can set this up better, if I'm at the right angle. Because I watched another guy, I forget his name, he's really good. And he teaches you about like Rembrandt lighting and the butterfly lighting and stuff like that. So I'll have a play around, but this is the kind of quality you can expect for a hundred dollar, no, hundred pound, we're in the UK, hundred pound lighting kit. So hope you enjoyed the video. Got the links in the description if you want to check out yourself. If for whatever reason you don't like the fact that it's an affiliate link, just, just Google it yourself. I've got the names of the equipment down here. So yeah, if you liked the video, drop a like, let me know you've made it to the end of the video. And yeah, I should see you very soon with some exciting stuff going back to our little eBay project. But yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Still no outro.